Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, we're gonna go over print and cut using UV printers and lasers. Let's get into it. To prepare for Valentine's Day, I'm going to be making my daughter's class some unique Valentines that they won't be able to just get in the store because why not, right? I have the machinery, I have the capability, might as well do it and get a video out of it. I'm going to print the design onto some acrylic that I have and then cut them out on the laser using the registration dots that I'm going to print on the printer. The first step of this process is to set up the design for both UV printing and cutting. I've already done that, but I will show you what it looks like. Then we will go into the UV printing process and then finish with the laser. So let me show you what it looks like. You have got to love when you film without turning your microphone on. So take two. I have the design on the screen. It is made up of two different layers. The first layer is my dinosaur layer. It has four registration dots. Those registration dots need to be quarter inch in diameter and they need to be black. The second layer in my design is the vector cutting layer. This includes the red outlines for the cuts, but it also includes those same registration dot marks in order for the laser to read it. So you need those on both the printing layer to make sure it prints on the acrylic, as well as the cutting layer to make sure the laser can read it. That's all there is to the design. I'm gonna go ahead and print it out. I'm not gonna bother showing how to send it to the printer because I've done videos on that in the past. I am going to print it onto clear acrylic. It will have a white underbase under the design and then the colored layer. And I will show you what that looks like after it's finished. One tip when you're printing on the acrylic, I typically clean the acrylic with isopropyl alcohol before I print onto it. Just make sure it's dry. That way it gets rid of all the fingerprints that may have happened while I was handling it. The UV printer is done, and here is the print. So you can see the registration marks are the black dots. The design is printed about halfway. I didn't print the whole sheet because I'm not going to use the whole sheet. What we're going to do is throw this into the laser and then cut them out using the registration dot camera. So I'm going to go boot up the laser, put this in, and then walk you through the process in the software. I have the job loaded through the job manager. First, what I'm going to do is actually change the red, which is going to be my cut, to the vector operation for cutting eighth inch acrylic, because that is what it is printed onto. And then for the black dots, I'm going to click on this, click on registration, which is this extra bar you see. If I unclick that, that bar will go away. So make sure you click registration, and then down here, it'll say registration mark one, select the registration mark on the video that corresponds to the pink. So this is going to be the bottom left. So I'm going to zoom in here on the bottom left, let it resolve its pixelation a little bit, and then click. And then go up to the top right, zoom in there and click. And then what it's going to do is it's going to overlay the pattern. So you can see here that I didn't click very well. So it offset it a little bit. So I'm going to go back to registration mark one because I think that's the one I did it on. Zoom in again. And I'm gonna let it sit here for a second to get a little bit more in focus. Click more in the middle. All right, once you select your dots, you should see that it overlays the image. You need to make sure your cameras are in focus to the material, or rather, you need to make sure your material is in focus so that the camera recognizes it properly. 
Once I hit confirm to print, what you'll see is the hunting routine. What this means is that the gantry is going to move toward where I had those pick points and the registration dot camera on top of the head or to the right of the head rather will actually zoom into each of those dots like you see here and it will try to recognize that dot and then capture it to translate back into the software and it communicates back and forth to make sure that all of those cutting lines will be in the correct position when the job actually machines. So it's gonna take a minute here to look for them. And then what I have noticed, once it is done, it doesn't really tell you that it's done, it just disappears. So the window will just go away and you will have to just go to the machine and the job should be there. And as you see, it just disappears. So we're gonna go over to the machine, cut it out and show you what happens. And that is how you print and cut. So here is one of the keychains. I'm not gonna show all of them just because that would take forever. But here is one of them. You can see it has the clear border around it. Now the back is just a see-through, so you can just see the white print. You could, in theory, make it double-sided, but it would be much more difficult to align everything. But that is the process. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share things along the way. If you have any questions at all about print to cut on the Epilogue Laser, let me know those in the comments below. But I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one.